homeowners. See, that should be not true for all these things once it all pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7, for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Shall one, first and foremost, like give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shai, Basha, Arkadash. Shalom to the elders of great men's song for Christian words, you feel sincerely. And Shalom to the Akin, scattered four months in the world, Christian word, and you feel sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to the Akin, I bet. And this is a uh, sit down lesson uh, that I want to bring out. And this is from the Jerusalem Post, uh, published by Seth Franksman, uh, published June 22nd, 2023. Last updated June the 22nd, 2023, and it reads it says, um, Iran, Iran wants hypersonic missiles to reach Israel and Eastern Europe. And keep this in mind as well, too, even though this is an anal analyst analyzing this uh, situation of this article. And keep this in mind as well, too. We're seeing the uh, tensions between Iran and Israel is at an all time high as well, too, especially with the recent. Uh, exercises drills and the uh, recent uh, military launch and testing from the uh, from Iran as well too. And I just want to add an, an additional note to that as well too. And it says again, Iran wants hypersonic missiles to reach Israel and east of Europe. Which it says and it reads, it is easily it is easily clear trying to show off that now has a missile that can threaten the whole Middle East and likely reach Europe. It says Iran has claimed over the past few days that it wants to increase its range of its uh, Fatai hypersonic missile to 2,000 kilometers. Right, because I did. A, I remember I did a sit-down lesson on that in regards to the, you know, uh, Iran revealing that new upgradable hypersonic missile. And I'm gonna read it again for edification's sake of this lesson. Iran's, Iran has claimed over the past few days that it wants to increase its range of its Fatan hypersonic missile to 2,000 kilometers, which would theoretically enable us to threaten Israel and Eastern Europe, while right along with the Western countries as well, too. That it is as well, too. And it says, uh, and it says, uh, Amar Ali Hasada, commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Sport, Aerospace Force, made the uh, comments as at a cer at a ceremony this week. While the claims were buried at the end of the speech, it says Iranian pro government media highlighted that the meaning that Iran is sending a message and will attempt to increase the range uh, of its missile that so far remain unproven. It says uh, Iran has been taking up hypersonic missiles this month. Iran wants to join the exclusive club of countries that claim the use of these hypersonic missiles, similar to North Korea. It says uh, hypersonic missiles are those that are traveling above Mach 5. And it says uh, the hypersonic speed is considered another faster than Mach 5 or five times the speed. It says equivalent to just over 100 kilometers and 60 miles per minute or about a mile every second the DW noticed in an article about these type of weapons. And it says uh, our miss it says our Iran missiles are more advanced than China. It says, uh, well, I ain't gonna read that. It says hypersonic missiles are a threat because of their speed and maneuverability because they can glide in some low trajectory. If I pronounce that right, they may yeah. operate like a cruise missile and be able to attack targets flying at high speeds and appearing out of a village or form of the seas and areas which the radar that have a uh, harder and then detecting them. It says when they detach in the air and air defense systems, 
may not be able to launch the time to stop the thrill. However, most of these remains unproven. But you know, this was just a news article that I wanted to bring out. But I'm gonna bring out that Matthews 24 and 7 again. Even though this is coming from an analyst's perspective, but you know, we send the increasing of the uh, nuclear threat Iran has towards Israel and its allies as well too. And this is uh, Matthew 24 and 7. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse six again. Matthew 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And see that ye be not in trouble for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And this is uh, Matthew 24 and 7. It says, for nation shall rise against nation. Right, that's what we've seen. Iran versus Israel over nuclear capability. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and diverse places. So that's what we're seeing a uh, nation uh, surprise against nation. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was out of fun. Uh, this uh, recent news article from uh, JerusalemPost.com. And this was published by uh, June the 22nd, 2023. And published by Seth J. Franksman. Uh, published June the 22nd, 2023. And it reads, Iran wants hypersonic missiles to reach uh, Israel and Eastern Europe according to analysts and this is a sign of an uh, increasing of uh, wars and rumors of wars like the scripture says in Matthew 24 and 6 so with that once again hopefully this lesson was out of fine I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Akadash uh, Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone Appropriation of the word of truth and sincerely and Shalom to the Aki it's got the four points of the globe. It's a word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say, Shalom.